Hi there, my name is Joshua Brown from the interview training company, howtobecome.com, and in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass an REF recruitment interview. So if you're looking to join the REF, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I'm going to help you to succeed. To help you to achieve that goal, I'm going to give you a list of REF interview questions to prepare for. I will then give you the sample answers to all of those questions to help you to pass your REF interview. I'll make sure to give you some essential tips for preparing effectively for your Royal Air Force interview. Finally, I'll also give you further downloadable resources to help you pass. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your interview and I can only do that if you're subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's get started with the first REF recruitment interview question that I recommend you prepare for and that is, why do you want to join the REF? This will be the first REF interview question you will need to answer. In your response, talk about how you've researched the Royal Air Force and explain how you are attracted to their history, the disciplined nature of the service, and how joining will help you to be successful in life. Here's a great answer to help you. Why do you want to join the RAF? Here we go. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to apply for the RAF. I want to join the Royal Air Force because having spent time researching the service, I've been impressed by the level of training I will receive, how I will get to learn a high quality trade, and how I'll obtain essential life skills that will enable me to lead a productive and successful life. I also want to join the RAF because I have a genuine passion for the military, and in particular, the level of discipline that comes with serving in such an organization. Joining the RAF will have numerous benefits for me, including travel, meeting and working alongside other like-minded professionals, and the fact there are so many opportunities to progress and develop professionally within the service. That's a really strong answer to that opening interview question, why do you want to join the RAF? Let's take a look at the next interview question, which is, what have you been doing to prepare for a career within the Royal Air Force? Joining the RAF is a decision that should not be taken lightly. In your response to this common Royal Air Force interview question, detail how you have considered the pros and the cons of joining and what specific steps you have taken to prepare for your career. Let's take a look at another great example answer to help you with this question. What have you been doing to prepare for a career in the Royal Air Force? Here we go. I've been preparing diligently for a career in the RAF and I've considered what it is going to be like and how I plan to overcome the challenges I will be faced with. To begin with, I've studied in detail the RAF recruitment literature, the training I will undergo and researching the RAF website. I've been undertaking a structured fitness training program to improve my fitness levels, which includes running, swimming, and light gym workouts. I've also kept in touch with the RAF recruitment advisor to ask questions about an RAF career, what I can expect if I'm successful, and what I need to do to prepare both mentally and physically. Whilst I know it will be challenging, I believe I've taken positive steps to get myself ready for what lies ahead. Now don't go anywhere as I still have lots more interview questions and answers to give you, but when you're ready, click that link in the top right hand corner. It will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download all of the RAF recruitment interview questions and the answers to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones we're covering right now. Here's the next question for you. What responsibilities did you have between the ages of 11 and 16? Now, the majority of people who apply to join the RAF do not prepare an answer to this question. However, it is often asked during the interview stage. So you need to make sure you've considered what responsibilities you have previously had. This question is being asked because if you have had a history of taking responsibility for things, you are more likely to pass the initial RAF training. Let's take a look at an example answer to help you. What responsibilities did you have between the ages of 11 and 16? Here we go. From a young age, my parents taught me to take responsibility for things. And even though I didn't like it at first, I've come to realize the importance of having structure and discipline in my life. From an early age, my parents insisted I kept a clean and tidy room. My dad used to say to me, a tidy room equals a tidy mind, which is very true. I was also responsible for cleaning my parents' car every Sunday, and even though I was paid pocket money for the job, it gave me more structure. Whilst at school, I played in the football team and for one season I was the captain. I had to arrange the cleaning of the football kit each week, 
and I had to help the teacher plan and organize fitness training sessions. Let's take a look at another Royal Air Force interview question, which is, what do you do in your spare time? So a good tip for this, if you are the type of person who sits in their room at home playing computer games, you might not be the type of the person the RAF is looking for. The best way to answer this common RAF interview question is to show the recruiting officer you are active and you take the time to learn new things in your spare time. Here's a great answer to help you. What do you do in your spare time? I'm not the type of person who likes to sit still or spend time on the internet playing games. I prefer to be active both physically and mentally. Whilst I do see my friends each week, I also spend time going to the gym, which I really enjoy as it helps keep my body and my mind active. I also go running several times a week and I can now comfortably run five miles. I've also started learning how to play the guitar and I've been studying online tutorials via YouTube to pick up some tips. I've really enjoyed the process of learning how to play, and again, this helps maintain concentration levels. More recently, a lot of my time has been spent learning about the RAF and preparing for the selection process, which again, I thoroughly enjoyed because I like to have a goal to work towards. That's a great answer to that tricky interview question, what do you do in your spare time? Now let's take a look at some of the more shorter example RAF interview questions to prepare for. Again, I've included sample responses to help you during your preparation. Let's take a look at the first question, which is, what is the definition of air power? Air power is what the RAF specializes in, and the definition is the ability to either attack or defend from the air by the use of aircraft. What was the last country to join the North Atlantic Treaty Organization? The most recent countries to join NATO were Montenegro on June the 5th, 2017, and then North Macedonia on the 27th of March, 2020. Name a future aircraft that is currently being built to serve in the RAF. An example of a future aircraft currently being built is the Tempest, which is a next generation combat aircraft. It is anticipated the aircraft will come into service within the RAF in 2035. The Tempest will replace the Typhoon. Which is the largest RAF base in the UK? The largest RAF base in the UK is RAF Bryars Norton, which is located in Oxfordshire. There are approximately 5,800 service personnel at the base, in addition to 1,200 contractors and 300 civilian staff. Amongst others, RAF Bryce Norton stations the Royal Air Force's Strategic and Tactical Air Transport AT unit and the Air to Air Refueling AAR force. So the next thing to do is to please make sure you click that button in the top right hand corner of this video right now, head through to my website howtobecome.com where you can get access to all of my RAF recruitment interview questions and the high scoring answers to each and every question in a PDF guide. You can literally have access to this guide in your inbox within two minutes from now. And it's guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also, more importantly, put you ahead of the competition. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their interviews. And I can only do that if you're subscribed. Please also hit that like button as this encourages me to make more videos just like this one. If you have any questions at all regarding joining the RAF, please feel free to put these in the comment section below where I'll get back to you. And finally, if you'd like to connect with me on LinkedIn, I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourselves there. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your interview and joining the RAF. Have a brilliant day.